Blessings in Jesus, dear friends. My name is James J. Caprash, if you don't know, from Morial Ministries and RTN TV Scotland. We'd like to talk to you very, very briefly about our pledge. Our pledge is a pledge we make to the Lord in your presence before you. We first of all pledge to him, but secondly, we pledge to you before him. This is our pledge to the Lord before you and our pledge to you before the Lord. What we pledge concerning our ministry. Tragically, most Christian music companies, recording companies, are secularly owned. What had once been the Christian music ministry, as you know, has become the Christian music industry based in Nashville, Tennessee, and Sydney, Australia. We've seen terrible scandals, ugly sexual scandals, repeatedly coming out of Hillsong in Australia and in New York. Just this week, a major contemporary Christian artist, DC Talk, a speak of Kevin Max, who has won four Grammy Awards for gospel music, four Grammy Awards for doing Christian music, has defined himself as an ex-evangelical, meaning an ex-evangelical. He said he now endorses the entire homosexual, lesbian, LGBTQ agenda, supports the various left-wing political course, uh, causes in addition, but he said he's no longer an evangelical. Now, evangelical comes from the Greek word evangelion, meaning gospel, good news. He says he's X, and he embraces and endorses things that the Word of God, the New Testament, specifically says are morally improper and not natural. This is Kevin Max, contemporary Christian artist of a major, major Christian worship band, as it were, who's won four Grammy Awards for gospel music. Imagine using the Lord's music to gain success in the secular world, that is Grammy recognition. And once you've got the Grammy recognition, you renounce your faith if you ever had it to begin with. This is not the only time things like this have happened. Our pledge to the Lord and our pledge to you before the Lord is that the music that is presented on RTN TV Scotland, contemporary Christian music, traditional hymns, messianic Jewish music, black American gospel music, it doesn't matter if it's Mahalia Jackson or Helen Shapiro, we don't care. We guarantee you that the lyrics will be 100% theologically solid and in accordance with the word of God. All the music we play has lyrics that are scriptural. We will never, ever, ever present something that is not. I once heard a preacher from Northern Ireland say, there is no doxology without theology. That is, there is no scriptural worship without right doctrine. Jesus made it clear that the Father wants to be worshiped in spirit and in truth. All of the artists presented on RTN, all of the lyrics they sing, and some of them have been a blessing to many, many people, many people, will always be people who we know are not in the music business, but are in the music ministry. And they're in it for Jesus. And all what they sing, all what they perform will be scriptural. That is our pledge. What's happened to the Christian music ministry has been awful. It's been secularized. It's been over-commercialized. It's been theologically corrupted. And then you have people in it who become morally reprobate. 
You know, Cliff Richard in Britain actually made a statement calling upon the church to change his position on same-sex marriage. How can this be? He's done Christian music in the past that was well-received. Now, don't get me wrong. I thank God for the Christian artists, for the believers who have remained faithful to Jesus and who have always been in it only for Jesus. I know a number of them personally. God bless every one of them. I thank the Lord for them. But those are the only kind of people we will ever have. You may hear Mahalia Jackson, or you may hear Helen Shapiro, or you may hear second chapter of Acts, but you will not hear heresy, false doctrine. You will never hear worship that is actually entertainment or entertainment masquerading as worship. We won't have that. That's our pledge. What's transpired in the Christian book publishing industry has, if anything, been worse. Most of these publishing houses are secularly owned. And so many of the biggest selling books in the evangelical world have been saturated with false doctrine. I think of the purpose-driven life, better called the purpose-driven lie. I think of the God chasers. I think of the shack written by someone who says Jesus did not die to atone for sin. Someone who fundamentally denies the gospel and states that by scriptural definition, he's not a Christian, that Jesus did not die for your sin or for mine. This is the shack. The God chasers. The scriptures, letters of the epistles are dusty old letters. That's where God used to be. We have to go to where God is now. Turning a prayer, just a prayer, into a formula incantation, the prayer of Jabez, or the purpose-driven agenda. Unbelievable. Don't preach repentance when you see an unsaved person involved in immorality or substance abuse. Don't tell them to repent. Tell them they need Jesus, then he'll clean them up. If they don't repent, they're not getting Jesus. There's no repentance message. It's a false gospel. Well, we won't have that. By God's grace, we won't have that. Our pledge, the books published by Moriel or by the publishing houses to which Moriel is associated, such as St. Matthew's Press, the books that are advertised or promoted on Moriel or on RTN TV, the doctrine will always be scriptural. A book we write, Shadows of the Beast, we publish that book, the doctrine will be right. This is a book by one of our missionaries in Thailand, Missionary to the Buddhists, a superb book, Resisting the Mystical. We publish this book. Books we recommend, The Great Mystery, showing that the angel of the Lord who Hasidic Jews call the Metatron, is really Jesus. He's the angel of the Lord. We verify its theological content. All of our books will be scriptural. We will not publish something that isn't. This is our pledge to the Lord. It's our pledge to you. The Lord has raised up RTN TV Scotland as the main Christian TV platform in Scotland for internet TV. It is now live streamed. It has always had from the beginning its own server. In other words, it is independent of YouTube or anyone else. Can't be closed down or monitored. And we have podcasts, we have Christian radio, 
and it's growing. Everyone on it is held to a doctrinal standard of accountability in accordance with scripture. You will hear the material of GCR, Genesis Christian Radio. You will hear Radio Atzmaut from Scotland. You will hear Moriel. You will hear Fellowship Bible Chapel, John Haller from Ohio and America. You will hear the Christian Church of Devore, Marco Quintana. You'll hear various other people. We guarantee every one of them will be scriptural. The guests we bring in and feature their material, Joshua Chavez, the content will be scriptural. We have various guest speakers from time to time, Pastor Charlie Douglas, wonderful brother, experienced pastor, the content will be scriptural. We will have no false doctrine. By God's grace, we will seek to keep our doctrine pure and right. This is our pledge to the Lord, and it's our pledge to you. In order to gain a wider viewership, we will never compromise the truth of God's word. What has happened in Christian music, in Christian publishing, and in Christian TV has been rather sad. You will never see the following on RTN TV. Just listen. Just listen. Although Christ was in every bit God, equal to the Father, and most Christians don't realize Jesus Christ was the Creator. God the Father created nothing. The Bible says in these three places, that's off the top of my head, there are many more, but there's three scriptures I could give you off the top of my head, where it says that Jesus Christ created all things, and all things are upheld by the power of His Word. God the Father created nothing. There will come a time where the grace of God comes to an end. For the Gentile mind, this is difficult to conceive. Because you, were, you have been grown, you've been brought up in a church culture that says that the blood of Jesus Christ is eternal to save mankind for eternity. It's not a biblical concept. It's a Gentile concept. It's not biblical. The blood of Christ will save until the end of the dispensation of grace. When the age of grace comes to an end, the blood of Jesus Christ will not profit anyone anything. Now I know right there I heard tilt. You heard correctly. God the Father is not the creator. No. He made the world through Jesus. He is the creator. Or the blood of Jesus will not avail eternally. He said, this is my blood of the new and everlasting covenant. The book of Revelation says the gospel is the everlasting gospel. The efficaciousness of his blood does not end when the end age of grace closes. Neither can the blood of animals ever take away sin, we are told in Hebrews. These are just false doctrines. Seriously false doctrines. Heretical doctrines. They've been promoted by others such as GV 24-7 and defended. The people who teach these things have been defended and promoted. We will never have such teachers or such preachers on RTN or Moriel. And if one sneaks under the fence by accident, will terminate their tenure and apologize to you and repent before the Lord and remove it. This is our pledge to you before the Lord and more importantly, our pledge to him before you. We will speak the things fitting for sound doctrine. Christian film has largely gone the same way as Christian TV and Christian internet TV. It's gone the same way as Christian publishing and Christian music. 
it's very sad what's happened in the world of Christian film. Due to COVID, we had to stop production. We were only in pre-production for a film we're making with award-winning Christian documentary maker in New Zealand. But we're going to resume production as soon as COVID allows. We guarantee this film will be of, by, and for the Lord. It will never be sold to California Pictures or to Paramount. It'll never be sold to the communist Chinese who persecute Christians in order to prevent it from being translated into Mandarin so it won't be used to reach people with the gospel. We will never run our film enterprises as anything other than a ministry, not a commercial business. This is our promise. To use Christian film as a calling card, as a platform, to enter into the culture of celebrity. You're just using Christian music that way. You're using Christian publishing that way. You're using Christian television that way. They're using Christian film that way. We will not do that. Just watch this. The Cannes Film Festival rubbing elbows with Steven Spielberg, with Emma Watson, and with Justin Timberlake. Not a word about the Lord Jesus. It's the culture of celebrity. Look at this. We will never do that. Christian film is not a calling card or an entryway into the Hollywood film scene or adulation of the world. Has this happened with the Grammys? Has this happened with other platforms and avenues and media? We just won't do that. We're not Hollywood wannabes. We're Christian gonnabes. I thank God that RTN TV has been raised up by the Lord as now the main Christian internet TV platform in Scotland. And we believe, by the grace of God, eventually in the UK, it's growing in America, Australia, it's growing. Please keep RTN in prayer. And please pray for the ministry of Moriel. We've made a commitment. Finally, we can't control what YouTube does, but we can control what we do. Our pledge to the Lord and to you before the Lord, and our pledge to you is this. We will never monetize our sites. We will never use the ministry for commercial purposes. We simply will not do that. We can't stop what YouTube does. But we won't do that. We just won't. RTN will never do that. We will not sell commercial advertising space or in any way use a platform for the dissemination of the gospel and of Christian doctrine. We will never use those things as an avenue for commercial advertising and marketing. We give you that pledge. We've pledged the same to the Lord himself. This is our pledge. All in Moriel are in agreement with me. All in RTN are in agreement with me. 
we take our pledge seriously. Please hold us to it. Thank you so much for your time and your prayers. God bless.